basic uses and properties of GregView widget. Now, use a grid view for the body of the scaffold. Grid delegate is the only required property of a grid view. It take two type of object, that is, sliver grid delegate with fixed cross axis count and sliver grid delegate with max cross axis extend. Let's check out the difference between them. In sliver grid delegate with fixed cross axis count, we can specify the cross axis count, which means we can provide how many grids should be rendered in the cross axis. GridView has children property, which takes list of widgets. For demonstration purpose, I will be providing list of containers and provide its color property, so we can see the container in the simulator and understand how GridView works. Now we see containers in the simulator, however they are hard to tell if it's one or list of containers. For that we can either provide a different color to containers, or provide padding to the containers. However Greg Delegate makes it easier for us, with main axis spacing, and cross axis spacing property. It basically provides spaces between the grids or containers that we provided of children's. Scroll direction property lets us change the scrolling direction of a list of containers, either to horizontal or vertical which is the default direction. Now let's change the grid delegate object to sliver grid delegate with max cross axis extend and see how it differs from fixed cross axis count. It has one required property, that is, max cross axis extend. It accepts a double. This property basically lets us set the maximum width of children to be extended according to the size of the display. To understand clearly have a look at the simulator. Child aspect ratio is another property of grid delegate objects. It lets us set the height and width ratio of the children's. Physics property of grid view help us to set the scrolling physics of the grid view. It accepts objects such as never scrollable scroll physics, bouncing scroll physics, etc. There are many more tried out. There are many more subtype of grid view such as grid view dot builder, grid view dot custom etc. will be demonstrating only grid view dot builder, as it is the only one that is commonly used. It also help us build grids lazily. It also has grid delegate property, and it accepts the same object as simple grid view, and also the same properties as well. GridView.Builder has another property, that is, item builder. This is the property that lets us build the children's lazy Lee. It takes a function, which returns a widget. The function accepts two parameters or arguments, that is, the build context, and an integer, which is the index. It also has another property that is, item count, which is the number of item we want to create or enter. GridView.Builder also has properties such as physics, scroll direction etc. which is the same as normal GridView widget. That's all for basic uses and properties of GridView. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if my videos are helpful to you in any ways, so you could get notified whenever I add a new Flutter widget.